What's up, you guys? Back with another video. Today, we'll be taking a look at the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bug busting Leo in Uskido suit. So, looking at all the things that it comes with, it's pretty amazing. I got this on eBay, arrived in the mail about four minutes ago. It comes with a bonus two nano clicks included. It says details inside, but there aren't any. Um, it only comes with like two accessories or three, including the helmet. I'm opening my zipper. Uh, by the way, this is the zipper where I keep all my TMT accessories. Sorry, I think I said that right. But I've already gotten, I think, wave three. But hopefully I, I'll get the rest. Um, so let's look at the packaging first. I'm going to see if I can slide this camera down a little more so you can see it better. So that's what it is. I placed a make an offer for 13. So we're going to put the figure aside. Hold on. We're going to just look at the packaging first, actually. Alright, so, I don't want this to knock the camera over. Bug Busting Leo in Uskido Suit, two nano clicks included, nano clicks. So, actually, this, so this is a Leonardo one, which is the green one, and, let me take this, another Leonardo, which is supposed to be black, so you can see a black and a green one, but they gave me Raphael in a green one, Raphael, which is green, I'm not sure if that's a mistake. That playmates did. Here's the back. You can pause the video if you want to read the bio. Picture of Uskido Leo. Um, he actually does look different. I, as you can tell, his outfit is dark blue, but this one's light blue. But uh, I'm trying to make a collection of these, like the cutout cards. I uh, threw a lot away like two years ago. I have Alberto and Mikey, those little cards. Let me try to get them. Here they are, the two cards, and I might get wrestling, wrestling Leo next. He's 12 bucks, but first let's take a look at these. These are the Nano Clicks. Uh, they are painted the same. I'm getting my accessories out and checking them out and see. So here is a Raf uh, compared to this one. They're the same, and I think I have a Leo. So I'm going to put that down. It's kind of sad that how they didn't make Bug Busting Leo, I meant Mikey and uh, Donnie. I really would have wanted Donnie. Mikey would have looked cool too. Oh, by the way, this is the pouch. If you want to see it, it has all of my, all of my TMNT accessories inside. And the front pouch is big weapons. So, taking a look at the figure. Here it is. And off of the bat, this figure is terrible. I'm just going to be so honest with you. It stinks. But I need the, or I want the figure to complete the whole TMT collection. But look, look how bad this is. Okay, so look, the shell falls off easily. Oh, I'm sorry, this shell falls off easily. He does have a good grip on the, in it. But let's take a look at the shell. Look how bad that is. But it falls off easily. Mine's really bad. Um, I don't know why he's so little. To me, he feels so small. Like, I don't know why. But look at this. This is the worst part. Look at that. Look at his left leg, or right leg. It's so wobbly, like this, like. That just looks so bad. But anyways, he still stand up. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the feet are uneven. Um, So we gotta make him stand straight. His, his arms and legs, I mean his arms, and these shoulder pads that move up and down, they're pretty good. His head is really hard to move. I don't know why this figure is so small. I just don't feel like it's a scale, but the helmet is pretty bad. Uh, actually, it's pretty good. Not going to lie. I try to put it on a few other times. Okay, so here's a shell. As you can tell, if you put the helmet on and then the shell, you get all the space to see his shell. Or not really a shell, though. But So we're going <clears> to... <throat> kidding me. This is hurting my hand pretty bad. I've tried this a few times before we began the video. Here's Bug Busting Raph, which is a better figure. So I have both of them. I'm pretty sure these are based off of Ghostbusters, which I'm excited for the Afterlife toys and figures that are coming out next summer. So maybe if this channel's still going, I can review those. They'll be pretty cool. I'll get all of them. I'm going to get the slime packs. Okay, I'm just going to have to leave them like this. This is the best it can do. So that looks pretty good. I'm not going to take the helmet off like ever since it's so hard to get it on off i meant on sorry about that um 
compared with Raphael, the other one I got, which I reviewed, it was like my third video. That was a few months ago. Eh, they're in scale, I guess. I'm ripping this off so I can get the card. Now, I have my trash can is full of TMT. I have an Alberto. I have the Alberto packaging in there. I have the Mikey, aka Love One, in there. But, anyways, next figure I might get, I don't, I'm not sure. I might get the Foot Lieutenant, the Flamehead guy. I'm getting another Ninja, or Origami Ninja. Uh, yeah. I'm getting another one of those since there's so much in the series, like a ton of them. And. One, because I need another card. I have a Baron Jackson in packaging. I'm not sure if I would sell. Because, like, I'm, I'm not sure. I need Splinter. And then I'll have all of Wave 1. Well, actually, I won't have all Wave 1. I'll still need the Shell Hogs. Uh, which is... Uh, which includes two figures. But anyways, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, now I got the three cards. Bug Wrestling Leo, Alberto, and Mikey. Um, please subscribe. Comment on my past videos. And I will see all you guys later. Have a great day. Stay safe in quarantine. Go check out these. Go check out Cody Davidson, which is my second channel. I do art on there. And oh, buy this figure. It's pretty good, I guess. Um, maybe for just displaying since it's not a good figure to play with because I said it really sucks. But anyways, you can still have fun with it, and I'll see all you guys later. Bye.